Thomasine Hall was born around the year 1600 in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, England, and raised female. In 1624, Thomasine cut their hair to join the army with their brother. When they returned to England a year later, they resumed a female public identity. In 1627, Thomasine decided to move to the Virginia colony. For the journey, Thomasine chose to dress and act as a man, because traveling as a woman alone was not safe, and male indentured servants were considered more valuable by employers. In Virginia, Thomasine worked without pay to pay off the debt they incurred traveling to the colony. Thomasine's contract was owned by a Virginia planter, John Tyos. Thomasine put in many hours of hard labor cultivating tobacco. After living on the plantation for some time, Thomasine began to dress in female clothing and take on traditional female labor. Their transition caused a sensation in the small agricultural community. Three women examined Thomasine's body and determined that they were a man. But Thomasine and John Tyos disagreed. The matter became more pressing when another planter, John Atkins, expressed an interest in buying Thomasine's contract. Thomasine's contract value would be different depending on their gender. Atkins asked the most prominent plantation owner in the area to help. He interviewed Thomasine, who confessed to having both male and female genitalia. On the strength of this confession, the planter determined that Thomasine was a woman. But Thomasine was subjected to two more examinations. One took place while they were sleeping, the other while they were walking down the street. No one could agree how Thomasine should be identified, so the matter was taken to court. In 1629, Thomasine appeared before Governor Potts at the Quarter Court of Virginia. The governor surprised everyone by ruling that Thomasine was both male and female. From that day forth, they had to wear an outfit that combined clothing from both sexes so that everyone who met them would know they were different. This outcome did not satisfy anyone. Thomasine's story provides valuable insight into the gender norms and values of colonial Virginia. <laughs>